Week of Easter 6, Wednesday, The Private Prayers of the Faithful Soul For the Lord will build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory, he will regard the prayer of the destitute, and will not despise their prayer. Psalm 102, verse 17. Dear Redeemed, in the letter to the Hebrews, we are informed that this psalm, Psalm 102, is addressed to God the Son, to the Christ, the Messiah, who is the Lord God. He will build up his church. He will appear in his glory. He will hear and receive the prayers of his congregation. Behold the Christ. He also hears your prayers. He urges you to pray to our Father who art in heaven. Listen to Jesus. And when you pray, you shall not be as the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Jesus is here speaking about your personal prayers. Such prayers are not to ascend to the Father in heaven by way either of a dog and pony show or accompanied by a fervent pietistic expression of religious pride among people on earth. That is what the hypocrites do. Such who pretend to be the faithful people of God but are not have their reward. Their show has been seen and their religious expressions have been heard. This makes up the full reward of what is due them. But when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut the door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Matthew 6, verses 5 and 6. Christian prayer is talking with God, speaking to the Father by the Holy Spirit as one continues to trust in Jesus, the Son of God. Prayer includes chanting to the Lord from the mouths of trusting infants, Psalm 8, of speaking his promises back to him, offering up the sacrifice of thanksgiving, petitioning on behalf of self and others, moaning in the midst of suffering, crying out in sorrow, hymning the Gloria in excelsis, silently pleading for mercy in the hour of God, devotionally singing the song of justification by grace through faith in Christ in the liturgy of the church, praising God from whom all blessings flow, and calling on the name of the Lord God Almighty, in whose most holy name the faithful soul is baptized and entrusts herself in time and for all eternity, and privately praying the Lord's Prayer together with all other Christians in the world. Prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Amen. Hymn number 398, stanzas 1, 2, and 3. Prayer is the soul's sincere desire, uttered or unexpressed, the motion of a hidden fire that trembles in the breast. Prayer is the burden of a sigh, the falling of a tear, the upward glancing of an eye, when none but God is near. Prayer is the simplest form of speech that infant lips can try. Prayer the sublimest strains that reach the majesty on high.